Alright, we're going in. Uh, light speed fist, cutting kicks. I think I want to do light speed fist just because it comes with one more slot open. Wait, hold on. Which one is this? Right. Anyway. Oh, that's the uh, that's the homing projectile. Nice. Uh, King Counter, 8 Missiles. Psst, 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 psst. So these are the things that you add to your skills to, like, make them more effective or do something else, but there's a whole lot of... This is where, like, the game is played, where you're just kind of making your build up as you go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. Ice Fragments we get if we had the Ice build. Uh, King Counter, 8 Missiles. Okay. Oh, reduces signature spell cooldown by three seconds. All right, well, I'll do pew pew for now just because I want to make some missiles. So King Counter is that. That's where his thing is he has a parry, which is very, very good in games like this. So if you can get good at that, you can get good at winning very quickly. I will start with a gambit room because we want to make our spells powerful instead of getting quartz. No keys. Not hearing game audio? Oh, thank you for telling me. Let me switch it out. I always forget I gotta edit the audio. One moment, I'll have it fixed in 10 seconds. Uh, asked it audio, game. The audio for this game is fantastic, so I want to make sure it's in the game. Alright, there it is. I cranked it up a bit. And we're back. Okay, should be good. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, if I get some lightning, that'd be good. Uh, spell two more missiles on each hit, get a plant and ignition. Uh, I kind of want to do... Yeah, actually, since this is a ranged thing, that's a common one. None of these are great, so wait, what's meteor? Falls on random at enemies. I kind of want to do that since that's thunder. We'll do thunder and meteor, but it's only one, and this makes two missiles. I think a meteor is probably more valuable, though. So I'll pick this up and throw this in the uh, light speed fist. No. So gambits are basically just ways to boost your skills, and each character you have like a rotation of four skills. So you're basically making your own combo in this game. Where to next? Which is very enjoyable. The music in this game is great though. So far so good. Orchestral. In a good way. Born ready. Nothing coming out! gonna do the... Nah, I'll do the aura. I don't have one yet, so I should. The aura you can see in the slot is uh, over at the bottom, these two little slots in the in the bottom of the bar there. Basically just a power-up, another power-up, but you can choose which one you get, so it can be really good if you get lucky.
That was the parry. Gotta use that better. Uh, Tiger Roundhouse wouldn't be bad. Ice Thrower, Ice Crystals Forward. I kind of want to do a projectile build going. But that's the new move, so I kind of gotta take it. Yeah, it's too good not to. It's got three slots as well. That's what it looks like. No, nah, no, nah, you know what? I'm gonna follow my instinct here and just say, you know what? I'm gonna do a projectile build where I'm just gonna be throwing lightning and heat at people. I might as well do it. Go all the way. Keys. Nah, I'll save my keys. Idle damage. Uh, this is better than the other two. That's why it's glowing, I imagine. Oh, because it's number two. On ice idle hit. See, I don't have any ice idle, so that thing's. Unless I have some that I'm not noticing. Uh, no, I guess the ice thrower doesn't make an ice golem or anything, so that wouldn't be that useful. Increases max mana. That's not bad. I kind of want this one. But what does this go? The aura. When it says creates one thunder strike, I'm not. Am I using the aura? I'm not. I'm surprised here. I'm gonna try to salvage this one for stars, just because I don't want it. Yeah, give me those. Give me those what stars. You think we got almost boss time? My team was used to ruins like these. Ice spikes the convergent explode. Fiery dragon punch. No, because I already have that. On each hit, chance to make a slime? No. Man, some of these are whack this run. Summons ice spikes that conversion explode. I think I'm gonna take this one just because I already got the ice build going. There we go. We got ice and thunder going, which ain't too bad. What is this? I don't think I've seen this. Challenge room. Taurus summon reward. That might be an enemy. Uh, we'll do the challenge room just because I've never seen this before. Over here. Oh shit, this was a boss. Rowdy boys gathering around to brew some trouble. What's with that poetic crap? Too many words. Wait. I don't even know why I try with you sometimes, Kieran. Anyway, shut up and listen well. I beat this guy once. I don't think you've got what it takes to get out of here. Prove me wrong. Now, nah, win my challenge and uh, I'll join you. How so? Like he'll. Oh, do you actually get to like make a boss a summon? If that's the case, that's a way cooler thing than I expected from this game. I thought the bosses were just going to antagonize you like in um, Hades. Am I supposed to fight him? Oh. Destroy every flying dummy without touching the ground. Do that? Okay. So, all right. Time's charm. Nicely played. I'll follow you for a time. 
Okay, so how does that work for a time? If he only gives you a temporary boost, that sucks. Nice. Unlock, I'll take it. How do you summon him, though? Impress the Zodiac. Zodiac summon available once the summon bar is completely filled. Use spells to fill it. Okay. Dope, all right. This is a challenge room. I do not want to do that because that bitch is a hard boss. So I just want to do a gambit. Thank you. This gives both, though. That gives a gambit and a blue gambit. I'll do it. We're, we're, don't, we're risking it for the biscuit. This bitch is hard to fight, though. Oh, this is a new one. My damage is pretty real, so we figured it out. Refreshed. Thank you kindly. Give me my reward, please. Thank you, sir. Cool. I needed that. I'll, I'll unlock a slot with the lightning speed fit. So that just opens it up, so I can do more stuff with that. Okay. So what do we got here? One spirit sword. Common. Electric. I gotta do the spirit sword. Throw that on the. So my light speed fist is like a summoning spell, right? My damage was better than expected. I still took hella damage. Though. Uh, fuck okay, it, we'll do a fight room. It's simple. I'm gonna learn how to not take damage in this game. Nothing coming out. Without dying. Not bad. Whoa, what is this? Echo Isles? Or the bar? Yeah. I have not been to Echo Isles, so I have no idea what this is. We're gonna find out. The more, the best. Then you can go hang out if you need. <sighs> Increase the minimum levels for Pablo's feathers? Increase by one, the minimum level. Have a minimum level of plus two. Oh, damn. Zim Zim's roots. Monstera's teeth, which projectiles, sapling. What the hell are these? At the start of special rooms, gives eight stars. Damn, that seems good. Pull down 80 seconds. Well, that's Sova's Benediction. I guess I'll do this one? I'll pick the lighter fight room. Further and further.
I'll take it. Took some damage, though. Okay. Let me go to the bar, get some health back. The nice part about this game is right before uh, you fight bosses, you get Great to come to this time. nice lady's My place. Just started. Uh, I can use the healing shards. What else can I use the... Now that's a face I could spot in a crowd. The face of an excessively curious client. I've got so many questions to ask. Where's this bar, and why didn't the bad guy find it already? Why did the Zodiacs come here? How'd you manage to get all these drinks? Phew. So, from first to last, parallel dimension, resistance headquarters, smuggling. Now, have a drink and celebrate. Fair. I got no qualms. The drinks are power-ups, by the way. That's what you spend the stars on. Ooh, that's a really good drink. Attack speed, attack speed, max life and strength. I kind of had to be stupid not to buy that. I'd like, I like her style. I love her style. Putting this right before the boss fight is the first moment I said, okay, this game might actually be fantastic. You've played Hades, right? This game has the Hades system of like everybody you interact with as you go through the game and you're doing runs. They will have the conversations with you, and they're all fully voice acted. So there's a lot of charm so far. Um, I think she's my favorite character. Yeah, this game's a lot like Hades in that way. This game is like Hades, Dead Cells, and you probably didn't play it, but Skull the Hero Slayer. Which is pretty good. This game, there's something super charming about it. I don't know what it is. I didn't, I didn't even know this game existed until I was on Reddit one day. And I was like, hey, isn't there like a roguelike subreddit? And then I checked it out, and... Lo and behold, there was. Wait, so it's eight per drink, right? Critical hit chance, strength. I'll just do raw strength. Ah, uh, you know what? Five percent strength seems better than crit chance. I wish I could drink this every day. More strength, max mana. I don't really want the max mana. Strength for now. Do I have any? Yeah, three left. I don't have any auras! That's right, I sold the one I got uh, for magic or whatever. I don't have enough to buy anything really good, but I might be able to buy at least one solid one. If you buy a, um, a gambit that has the same type as the spell you put it in, it gets a damage boost. I'll show you that, I think. Can't afford anything good here. On the caster, they explode when they touch an enemy. Glacial spikes. I could just go full ice. Wait, can I afford? I can only afford one. So I think I'll just make one of my other spells. No, you know what? I'll go full ice. Buy this one and replace the last super hot fire punch I have. Now I got a full ice and thunder build. Boss time. Don't overdo yourself out there. Her name's Ready Andromeda, by the way, the girl. This is probably a new boss, so you get to see an animation. Either that or it's gonna be an old boss. Looks like an old boss. Wait, didn't I just didn't I just unlock this guy in a summon? Nope, new guy. The art ain't bad. Kinda like it. Capricorn is my name. And yours. Let me guess. You must be Kieran. How do you know? One must know all the facts to succeed in an impossible task. I guess it means you won't let me pass. I was expecting that.
us. Good. I have had enough for today. What? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I could go another round. See, I don't like the characters a ton so far. There's only a few that I really like, but some of the voice acting lines have been pretty good. You proved your skills, and I learned a great deal. I shall let you pass. I'm a sucker for any game that has voice acting that isn't shit, because there's a lot of games with shit voice acting. Triple A games with shit voice acting, so I like to appreciate it when it's there. All right, all right. Uh, if enemy life is full, summons one spirit sword. What? Hmm. On fall attack, no. On enemies with burn, hell no. On dash, creates one lightning orb. Ah, uh, I don't know. On fall attack, I don't do that that much. Enemy life is full. Sharp lightning. Well, this is lightning, so I could at least... Well, this is an aura? Well, these are all auras. Okay. Dashing with one lightning orb sounds good. This sounds better. I guess we'll try because I have a spirit sword with something else, so I'll grab this one. Power. All right, let me go to the red level. Dry air. <laughs> Feels like the infinite caravan. Basic attack damage by 20% seems good. Basic attack, ice fragment. Basic attack creates... Uh, basic attack, ice fragment. That seems good, just because we have such an ice build anyway. Damage to ice craft punch on successful king counter three ice idol. That could be good. King counter restores four life. Also good, but not great. I think it's better to get the ice idols since we're doing an ice build anyway. Hey, weird looking guy. Oh, this guy's new. He must be a gambling guy. Lottery. Oh, shit, he gave me a lot of keys. All right, so that's pretty nice. Let's go do an aura room, since I only have one aura right now, and I can use a second to power Almost up. Almost there! Yeah. We have the same food support the infinite caravan. This does look pretty sick. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, the thing that I like most about it... I'm just pausing for a second because I'm going to get another beer. Uh, get up and take a break. It's been an hour. This game legitimately... First of all... I didn't expect anything. The first time I heard about this game was like four days ago. I was on Reddit looking at other roguelikes and seeing what people think is the best one. And this game popped up and everybody said, this is the game I keep coming back to because it's very good. It's like Hades meets Dead Cells meets like three other roguelikes. But everything about the game, there's no there's no dip in quality. Like at no point during this game is there anything that's avoiding me. There's no up and down valleys. The out of, the out of combat experience is good because the characters seem interesting and it's full voice acted. The graphics are fantastic. It's super colorful in a good way with like a plastic a classic pixel style the controls are great they're super tight so if you're like me and you like the fighting game aspect of it and on top of everything it's basically got diablo gameplay you got four abilities you customize the ever loving shit out of them you build your build around the abilities but then the combat is such that you're building mana you can see the bar in the top left you're basically building that mana so just so you can do more spells. So you have your rotation of spells in the bottom left, you got your basic attack that's letting you do the spells. And then you've got whatever your special ability is, his is a parry. And then you've got like auras and little things to customize your build however you like. So the balance of this game seems fantastic. He's getting a little better so he's almost to that point where he can take care of himself for a night or two. Yeah, these are traps, you gotta watch out for those. They will kill you. I got a bunch of keys, so now I have to use these as much as I can. So five keys for a Cabo's Feather is good. So this is spell level increased by two. We want to do that with our most powerful spell, which is probably the Lightspeed Fist. Ooh, 
Ooh. Ask Corrupted Typhoon. 15 missiles created? That seems really good. So that's why it showed up all pink. So this is just a high... Uh, oh, this is an aura. That's really good. Cast Corrupted Typhoon. When is it casted? Wow. Oh, after 15 spells? After I cast a number of spells, it's gonna crank that out. That seems like it makes sense. We need some more gambits, so I'm gonna go for gambits since I got plenty of keys. We need to make our spells more powerful so I can melt the next boss. Might as well just keep upgrading this, right? I'm just gonna crank up the uh, the light speed fist and try to make that my premier spell. No shards left. Poison, chance to hit a slime, chance to make a lightning orb, uh, chance to apply one freeze. That seems good. I kind of want to do the freeze. It's got it's fits with the the other spells. <coughs> oh, wait a minute. This one's electric. You know what? This is the one to do, just because I got more spots here, and also that's my premier spell, and that fits with the typing of it. So that's kind of the way to go. Okay, where to next? Go to this one. To new worlds. There you go, that is really strong now. Lightning Fist is our most powerful one by far. It just nukes everything. I loaded all my spells into it. I mean, I loaded all my gambits with it. It summons a sword that follows me and hits people. I gotta get to that spell as much as I can. Uh, Cestus Cavern? I think that's a whale that gives us loot. I have never seen this one. Pavo's Ruins. Pavo's Feathers upgrade your spells, so I could make that Lightning Fist or one of my other spells way more popular, or I could find some gambits. I kinda wanna do the gambits, because I need... Uh, nah, you know what? I've never been here before. I gotta go here. The sky. That's, uh, weird. Oh, yeah! Whenever I go to special rooms, that's the thing I took from that other reward room where that guy gives me stars whenever I even get to a special room. So this is a good spot to go. Oh, damn. He looks pretty cool. Cool power for my cool spell! It's just one? Oh, okay. In that case, I'm gonna level up Glacial Spikes by one. Ooh, I'll take this. Just to do it. Is that it? Sacrifice health. Oh. If I pay 60 health, he gives me another feather? Tight. I kind of like that. In that case, I will upgrade Glacial Spikes twice because I already have level four's fist. So that'll work for now. Alright, cool. This is a challenge room. No thanks. I'll just see if there's a good aura to take. Nah, because the spirit sword, I already have two auras and one of them's really good, so I think I have to do the challenge room. Although, the summon reward might not be good because I already got one earlier and it was a different god, so I think I'll just do the aura to see if I can pick up a good one. Further and further. Out of 
stone altar that gives you a boost or more keys because I got 22 of them so I might as well that's for my spell right even more like speed fist all right oh god Refresh. These are all altars. I could sell these. Are any of these better than the one I have? When heroes hit, creates fire shield for four seconds. 16 second cooldown. Spell refresh. Once you use your four spells, they refresh and become available again. Oh, okay. When spell cast creates one plasma. Ah. Two nimbus. Follows and casts thunder. That kind of works with my build. A little bit. I guess this is the one. If enemy life is full, I think that's the one I want to get rid of. Yeah. The spirit sword can go. It's fine. Let's go for another gambit, just because I have enough keys still. Critical hit chance, max life. I kind of want that just to keep getting more buff. I have to find a shark, quick! Nice. You can take two of those. Yeah. Oh god! Ah oh, man, I almost got killed. Stick around too long, that giant shark comes through just like that. <laughs> you don't even have to kill that enemy, but you can, I think. No more mana. Uh, I do not want to do a challenge room right now. Give me the regular fight, I'm about to die. Let's do this. Be really You're careful with this fight. I'm out. Slight heal. I didn't take any damage there much. I think I got tagged once. I gotta use that summon next time I have a tough fight. Saving it. Oh, nice! Whale loot room. This guy just gives you shit. I think. Team with Do not disturb the sleeping so beast. Happy. Special room. Uh. Absolute zero. What? I guess this is the one I want. Big finale. Nice. I'll unlock the slot in one of my sp ice spells. This one's got... Wait, which is my highest level? Yeah, Glacial. Okay, unlock that. Uh, on Spellcraft, create two Snowflake, two Ice Fragment. 
So I'll add these all to the actual spot. Mm -hmm. Thank you, brother. See you later. I'll go to the lower difficulty room just because I want to try to live. Pretty low health. No magic left. Wow. My parry is pretty powerful, too. Got a new beer. Let's see what Andromeda is up to. The piano ain't bad either, man. Kieran, how? Hmm. I got plenty of stars, so it'd be kind of irresponsible for me not to use this to heal up. Thank you, Jart. Depends on if the level ups are really valuable, because sometimes she gets really good ones, like that one I found when I first showed up. But I'm gonna heal up first, because I gotta. Uh, you know what? It's a boss fight. I'm gonna have to make note of bosses' patterns more and avoid damage, so I'll use this as a handicap. I'm gonna level up my stuff and try to get my damage maxed out while I leave my health where it's at. Uh, strength. You know what? This one seems the more powerful drink right now. 15 health. Is that worth it? Eh. In the long run, more damage. Oh god! Uh, more strength, more attack speed, whatever. Strength. Max life, strength. Tell you what, I'm gonna heal up one more time just for the fuck of it. Doing the max life drink. And I'm one star short. Sucks. Let me upgrade an aura. I wanna upgrade on spell refresh, summons to Nimbus. 15 missiles created. Increases missile damage. I guess this one? Why can't I upgrade this one? Hm, wonder why not. There's gotta be a reason. I think I might not be able to even use it. Okay, so now I have way more stuff to work with in the store. So I don't need any new spells. The ones I currently have are fine. Because I have like an ice projectile summon build going on. So I don't want to unlock any slots. I want gambits, but I don't want these gambits. So I want to refresh here. Thank you. One pulse applying three pacification. What is this? Thunder Orb? Damn, I kind of want to get that. But no, it's, uh, these are... Actually, you know what? I could use these, because this is level 3. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to use this to replace one of the ones I currently have. I'm going to use this to replace Ice Thrower. Ice Spikes that Converge and Explode. Get rid of this one. It's the least powerful one we got. So now we got Thunder Orb. So we got 2 Thunder, 2 Ice. That's what we're doing. Salvage this for quartz. Alright, we get a little bit for that. And then, what is this about? That seems good. Heroic Gambit, so that means it's better than the others. And we might as well get this. Just because I don't want to refresh. And I want this to go to something... Under Orb 3, that seems fine. Let's do that. Okay, let's see about the boss fight. Let's meet again. Cheers to that. So much power. I have to remember to use the right click to summon my dude. Alright, let's go. New boss? I think there's 12 in total. I have not fought this one. She got a hula hoop? She got like a spirit hula hoop. She's like Tiara from Soul Calibur. Okay. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. A walking poor little weakling. Hey, be nice. Hey, stop that! I'm not a weakling, whatever that is. Who are you? <laughs> Sagittarius, 
But you can call me the one that will break your pretty little face. Ah, I like that. Not the breaking my face part, but the, uh, fighting which. Well, you get it. No mana, no spell. Good timing. Good timing. I got my thunderbolt fist when she Practice. did that. You're a tiny little human, and and I lost against you. What cuss is that, frack? Don't worry. You don't have to call me the one who kicked your butt. Just Karen will do. Is she angry? Ugh. Shut the frack up. You'd say fuck. It's a video game. That's allowed. Hey. Got the loot. All right. Anything good though? Agile foot. Oh, these are all. Oh, man, these are all auras. Man. Uh, when hero is hit, two snow snowflake amulet two. Get okay, one extra jump on double jump. Creates slime. That seems like it would be good. <clears throat> I guess that's the best one. You know what? I'm gonna use this one just because that other one that I picked up that's good hasn't really been helping me much unless I haven't noticed. I think corrupted. I hope getting rid of corrupted typhoon didn't fuck me. <laughs> I really don't. Never been here. Coral archipelago. First time me getting to the third level. Wow, it's like a postcard. That's pretty cool looking. All right. Uh, basic attack summons four saplings. Improve flexibility and basic attack. Increase attack speed. Summon four sapling. Follow and explodes. That seems good. You know what? These other ones have big-ass cooldowns. I'm just going to use the attack speed. Signature spell. So this is the parry. Three thunder strike on parry. Fire shield. It's fire shield. Spinning flame in circles. I can't counter two toxic gas. I think thunder strike has got to be it. There we go. Is that just making your regular skills better? Like if you parry somebody, it's better. Or if you use the other thing. It's I forget what it was. Um, main magic. Let's see. Keys, keys, more keys. New enemies in this area, I gotta be careful. Looking for a fight? Oh, he explodes. There we go, nice parry. The parry would be way more OP if it didn't have a cooldown. In this game, when you use it, it's got like a 10 second cooldown or something ridiculous. So you can't just ignore damage with it. You gotta use your dash for that. Your dash has invincibility frames, so it's made to be your invincibility thing. Oh, hey, 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 long range, fuck you. You can't hurt this guy at all. He's just firing. New spell. Fireballs, world ender. Hmm. 
I don't really want either of these. I want to keep my build going, so I'm going to salvage these for quartz. That's a treasure enemy, nice. I didn't realize what that was. I was like, what the hell? All right, on hit chance, 30% chance to create Ice Sword, that's good. That's definitely the one I want here. Which one do we put it on though? Glacial Spikes would be good. Lightning Fist would be whatever. I, we gotta put on Glacial just cause it's ice on ice. Nice. All right, so Glacial Spikes is good. Chattering Star sucks. Light Speed Fist is fantastic. So I got three good spells and one shitty one. I might replace that soon. Uh, Gambit or Fight Room. I have plenty of keys, so I'm just going to Gambit it out. See if we can get lucky. Stone altar, please. Let me get. Let me get some max life. I'm Strength, please. Thank you. That's more money than I ever had on the caravan. Echo Isles. Uh, I don't think I've been there yet. I definitely haven't been here yet. Yali Kingdom. Aura reward. reward. Well, I got three jumps now, and they summon the little dudes. So I don't think I want the aura reward, but Yali Kingdom sounds pretty cool. Haven't been here either, so I'm gonna go here. Echo reward. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, I have been here. It's a special room, so my dude's giving me stars that'll help me at the bar. Uh, at the end of fight rooms, chameleon gives you at random quartz, keys, or stars. That seems good. Sir Bappy appears and gives you three healing shards. Cooldown, 40 enemy deaths. Three healing shards ain't bad. That's 40% or below. Storing, so this is both a heal. Ayla's another playable character. Once per room, Ayla prepares in a fight and invokes 10 throwing knives, giving Thunder Dash for 10 seconds. These all seem good. This is a hard decision. I think since my since I'm doing a good job of fighting, maybe I should just go all in on the fighting rooms. And use this guy's thing, Chameleon's Luck. But this guy seems good. 40 enemy deaths. Uh, nah, you know what? I haven't seen that many enemies, so actually I'm going to skip that one. Three healing shards every 40 enemies seems decent, but I don't know. This seems good. Whenever you get 40% life, she shows up and heals you. Look at that one. Uh, fight room or gambit? Do a gambit. It's a star, you. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna try to blast more health. Good enough. Max mana by one sounds good, actually. I'm gonna get that for now.
explorer. Fight room, the tougher one. <laughs> you sure about fighting me? Nice parry. That was clean. Any healing shards? And basically none. Quiet room heals you. I don't really need it, but I kind of want to do it. But I think I'm just going to go straight for the max difficulty for another gambit. Upgrading the lightning speed fist. Damage can keep going. Those guys are careful. You see me a lot, Yali ticket. That lets me get a, a new skin when I get back, or a new cosmetic, or whatever. Maybe one portal will lead home. I'm gonna have to use this one. All right. <laughs> Rescue to capture Yali, Yali scattered around the world for a bigger reward pool. Okay. What the hell? Oh, you get more of these if you keep rescuing Yali's. I guess Yali's a little cute, dudes. Critical hit chance by 10%. That seems really good. I want that. On spell refresh to Nimbus? Yeah, man, who wants that? Fuck that. One extra jump and the double jump creates slimes is fine. But Stormcaller is whatever. Actually, the Nimbus? The spell refresh? I'm not using my spells enough. Maybe I should be. I guess I'll get rid of Agile Foot. I just want to see what this one does. New crit. This crit damage seems good. Let's see how it goes. 10% crit chance is crazy. Seems like my damage got way better. That's definitely for sure. I just melted those guys. So I think the crit chance was real. Well, this is the furthest I've gotten in this game, so I'm pretty happy with this run. I wonder how many for a full run you do. Like, do I go all the way to the end boss? Earthling approaching. You betcha, honey. What do you got for a drink? Critical hit chance, attack speed. I think I want the crit chance just because I already got that one boost. You're the best. I mean uh, armor, max life. Armor sounds good. I don't even know what it does, really. More armor, more attack speed. Give me more armor. Armor. You can just keep drinking. This is the best part of this game. <laughs> it's just this room where she snaps her fingers. Another day, another drink. Make yourself at home. She's sick. She's my favorite character so far. Who doesn't like a bartender? I just got a massive arm. We're getting all armor this run, which is crazy. I can't even see where my armor is on my build. Oh, wait, hold on. It's up in the top left. Reduces received damage up to 70%? What? That's crazy. Oh, she gave me the special drink. All right, we got the blend. Attack speed, life, and strength. Out of this world. Then I've seen.
seen many. We got double top tier drinks, dog. Oh, I'm pretty happy. All right, we got super boosted. That was sick. So now we're buff as hell. Take a seat. Think Looks about like it. Iki gave me wrong directions. Bah, let's enjoy the view. This is pretty good for break time if you wanted to. <laughs> you were Twitch streaming like me and you wanted to chill. Uh, aura upgrade. I think I want the crit upgrade. Critical hit chances by 15%. On critical hit, four missiles. Increases damage by 25%. That's ridiculous. Unique power. That's really good. Energy projectiles. That's a flame spell. That's a flame spell. I can unlock a slot with that. Uh, poison. I don't really want. I got lots and lots of shards this time. Or whatever these are called. Um, I'll reset and look for some lightning ones. One plasma. Ice. I don't see anything here I want. Something good. Oh man, give me some heat. One Nimbus sounds good. Give me that. Am I putting that on? Here we go. So, so whenever I cast a Lightspeed Fist, which is the big up fist that summons the thunder, I'm getting a Meteor, a Spirit Sword, and there's a small chance... Uh, I get a lightning orb, and then also a nimbus. So I'm summoning three things whenever I cast this. That seems really good. On spellcast, restores five life. That just seems good in general, so I'm going to definitely get that one. Put that on some random-ass shit that I don't have. Oh, I should replace Shattering Stars before I fuck around. Uh, I need this to heal me. Fuck. I got gamut slots I don't have. Shit. Oh, if I'm going to get a new spell, that'll be there, and I can put that on it. Uh, void Punch, Throw Bomb. No, it's fire. On Spellcast, Summons Wisp. On each hit, chance to apply one burn. Electrospheres. Electric orbs that bounce on walls and pierce through enemies. Summons a sphere, releasing lightning as it moves forward. Wait, what level are these? That one's six. These are all six. That one's lower. Well, the one that's most expensive is this one, so I'm gonna get this one. Place Shattering Stars with that. And sell this. Quartz is what it's called, okay. And put this on something else. It's whatever. Use your 20% chance to create one item orb. I'll get rid of the lightning arm there. I just want this to heal me whenever I'm casting it. Even if it's a little tiny heal, it's worth it. Alright, we're gonna fight now. What in the blue hell are you playing? What's up, Rebel Rooster? How you doing, man? So this is called Astral Ascent, and this is this dope... I don't know if you play any roguelikes, but it's like Dead Cells uh, plus Hades a little bit. It's got all this voice acting, and you can run around, and like it's just a roguelike where you're just killing enemies and you're doing spell rotations. But the flow of the gameplay is almost Diablo-like. You're just using your regular attack until you reset into your next uh, spell thing. And also, soundtrack is great. Astral Ass End? Yeah, you can say ass a lot, so... That's also pretty fun. How you doing, dude? It's good to hear from you. You hyped for Tekken 7? I mean, uh, 8? Not 7. I don't think anybody's hyped for 7 anymore. Except the Zafina players, for fuck's sakes. Alright, third boss. Serious. I have to summon- I have to remember to summon the other guy I got. Alright, who do we got this time? This one looks new. He's the Birdman. I ain't talking Miami Basilius, Heat. Basilius, can you smell that stench? You gonna call me smelly, bitch? I took a shower when I got home from the gym. Whoa, wait. Are you talking to a bird? He likes birds. This bird is the emblem of my family. And you are speaking with its head. Oh, so the bird is a bad guy, too. Eh, fine by me. Fuck, my parry's not working. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh god, delayed it. Oh fuck. Oh, she has a nice cooldown. She's coming to help my ass. Get melted, bitch. All that armor I got let me tank all those hits. Vasilius let you win. <laughs> He's a sore loser. How you doing, Rebel Rooster, though? How you, how's the oh, family yeah? going? Come here and give me five, little buddy. You want the glorious Basilius to give you five? I cannot deal with you anymore. And get out of here, bitch, or just beat that ass. Move your ass. There we go. All right, little heal action. The the armor I got back at the bar. Who let the roost in here? I don't know, Strangler, but you better kick his ass out. Also, it's funny that both of you are actually combatants in a gulch. I gotta get that back going. Oh, shit. This is level three. That seems like the best one. These are level two. Uh, these are all auras, though, so this is, like, overall. I got a crit one, and I got one that, when I jump, it gives me stuff. What do I want? Thunderstrike damage by 40%. Uh, I guess, but not really. I don't have any... Wait, do I have anything that gives Thunderstrike? Do I have anything Thunderstrike? Uh, no, not really. Yeah, chance to create one Thunderstrike. I have Thunder Orb, and that's it. Actually, yeah, Lightning Orb. Okay, so Thunderstrike, no. I don't want either of these. I think I just want this one. Increases Toxic Gas. On Toxic Gas, increases Poison Limit. Okay, so I don't want that one, actually. <laughs> Increases Wisp damage. None of these really seem good except for maybe this one. Lightning Favor. Creates two Lightning Strike instant. Uh, I think I want this one. Two Embers. You know what? Just give me the Aura. Just give me the stars for this one. None of those really seemed like a good Aura. I have a crit one that seems way better. The furthest I made in this game, though, so thank you guys for coming by. Uh, grim, but also... So cool. All right, so I'm getting to, like, the end of the build, so I think the end game is coming up soon if I didn't know any better. On um, basic attack hit, summons four saplings, 24 second cooldown. 20% chance to apply one pacification. Reduces enemies' damage by 5%, so pacification lowers their damage. On um, basic attack, one combustion, large fire explosion, and then a sapling. Four saplings? That doesn't seem bad, but I'm just going to go with the pacification. Still working and lurking? That's the way to do it, man. Cheers to the lurker population. We're just playing some roguelikes for tonight. Just making sure they're good ones now. Started with Nova Drift. This is the second game. Then we got Star of uh, Providence. And then there's FTL and DRG. I don't think I'm going to hit them all tonight. I think I'll skip FTL because it's a longer run game. And I'll go straight to DRG. Just to get the uh, Christmas stuff out of the way. Brute Fist of Doom. Signature spell damage by 5. 50%. Okay. Encounter summons three. Signature spell is his parry. I'm just drastically increasing his damage. Or three wisps. What do I currently have? An inventory. Does it tell me? Yeah, here we go. King counter, I make three ice idols. I make a bunch of missiles. And three thunder strikes. So, what do I want for this? damage is better. The heal per thing is better. I think summoning the three wisps is good, though. No, no, because it's a fire projectile, so this is better. Just change, just make the overall damage better. I want to parry the hell out of people now. I still haven't summoned the damn dude. I haven't cast that spell once. Uh, I don't need gambits. So I'm just going to go for keys. My spells are mostly fully loaded. I have not been here before, though, so we could get killed by whatever's around here to fight. <laughs> This game is like Hades if it were Dead Cells? Basically, yeah, I was saying that to a few people. This game, Soda, I think you're the only one I can think of that is guaranteed play all the games I'm about to mention. This game is like Hades, you know, talkative characters that you meet, bosses and friends alike. 
plus Skull the Hero Slayer, just the flow, and then Dead Cells. Dead Cells is a little tougher than this game, though. This game feels a little more forgiving about actually letting you get into a build without having you be perfect the whole run. So this one's better. Is it on Steam or Switch 2? It's on Steam and Steam Deck, and I think it's on Switch. I don't know. I want to get games like this in the Switch. This game would be a great Switch game, so I would go look up. It's probably on Switch if I had to guess. It's, it feels like it's made for Switch, so I would say go for it. But this game is really, really good. I got I played this game twice, and I was already just into it. Also, it has parries if you like that sort of thing in these games. Some people just love that shit. I could go to the healing room. I think I will, just for the fuck of it. I have half health, so I might as well get those resources back a little bit. And it's a special room, so the guy gave me a free chest. Bunch of stars. There we go. Fully healed and everything. I'll sit down for a second. Sitting on benches is really cool for abs. Hope y'all are having a fun thirsty Thursday. I'm about to crack open the boom sauce, but I'm enjoying this game a lot, man. This is one of the better roguelikes I've played in a long time. I like Dead Cells, and I feel like this is better than Dead Cells because it's got that Hades thing going on where you kind of want to keep doing runs just to keep interacting with certain characters. Because you talk shit to all the bosses. You have four playable characters. There's a gun guy, there's a bird girl, there's this fighting guy, and then there's the knife girl. And then the graphics are fantastic. It's just so vibrant in that old school pixel style, but not in an annoying way. You know some games have like pixels and you're like, this doesn't need to look like this. Uh. I have two Yingling Flight Tallboys left when I clock out? Damn. Have you ever had Boom Sauce? It's an IPA, but it's one of the most fun IPAs to drink because it's like one of the more easily drinkable IPAs. It's IPAs for people at like a concert. It's not the kind of IPA you grab at like some special beer joint. It's very Boston IPA. <laughs> I enjoy it very much. It's heavy. So if I wanted to, I could spend stars right here to load up my healing thing. The healing thing is that, if you see in the bottom left, the thing that says, um, those little green rocks, you charge up, when you're killing enemies, if you kill bigger enemies, you charge up healing. And then you can trigger that thing to heal. You ba it's basically a savable flask from Dead Cells. And you charge it up by killing enemies. Uh, Gambit reward, I don't want, a elemental Gambit reward sounds good. This says the sun. This guy gives me... I think I want this guy just to upgrade some of my spells, though. Because you can trade health for... We just healed. So I can trade health for spell upgrades. Yeah, where am I? And this guy gives me more stars because I entered a special one. Uh... We want... I think we kind of need... Like, to this to just keep getting stronger. Sacrifice a little health. Uh, I'm gonna keep going with the... I'm gonna do Glacial Spikes. I mean, I'm gonna do Lightning Speed Fist and Eye of Judgment. Those seem really good. Because those are my highest level spells, so I'm gonna do Eye of Judgment. I'm gonna do one more upgrade, because he's gonna keep taking more health, so... One third of my health seems fine. I'll do Light Speed Fist one more time. Level 9. Not bad. Alright. Alright. Thank you, Birdman. The damn phone. It thinks you're saying Google all the time. Uh, I don't want to do the aura room. Just give me the quartz. I'll do the simplest room so I can save up my health for the boss Easy fight. Easy peasy. Oh, that guy's a menace. Do critical hit chance would be good. Give me critical hit chance and strength. Summoning the Nimbus is actually pretty strong, not gonna lie. I think I discounted those earlier, but they follow you and just keep doing damage, so it seems really good for the build. Oh, 
I will do the void just because I'm in a pretty good spot right now and I have the heals and I also have the summon so I'm gonna use the summon in this fight I gotta remember to use it to start with it who we fighting okay So the damage from the summon wasn't much, but my regular damage from the parry and everything was pretty legit. This one's rare. Oh shit! He gave me he gave me max level gambits. All right. Well, first of all, give me this to unlock a slot. I had judgment. Hell yeah. And what do we got here? On hit, on each hit, fifty percent chance to restore life. Summons two spirit sword. That seems really good. Two spirit sword seems like the one. So whenever I'm summoning Eye of Judgment, it's going to summon two swords that follow me and carve the shit out of people. Alright. I'm down. Uh, let's go get a gambit. Is anything good? Oh, hey. Watch out. Today. Uh, attack speed, strength. Mana would be wouldn't be bad, but still. You know what? Let's do Gotta attack speed just for a bit. Strength. Oh hey, kitty. Let's see what he's up to. That's Rulu. Spellcast creates six missiles. On each hit, summons one sapling. Okay, so this seems really good. This seems like it could be good, too. It's two soul flakes. Eh, this one's too good not to use. All right, what do we got for space? Anything? Yeah, this seems better for the Thunder Orb. Just do it. Lightspeed Fist, one Spirit Sword, one Meteor. Summons one Nimbus? I could get rid of that. 30% chance to create Ice Sword? I think I want to get rid of that one. I'm not gonna upgrade that though, so I might replace I might replace glacial spikes, so I don't want to put any gambits on it that are good. So I want to put the good gambit on light speed fist. I'm gonna replace the on spell cast restores five life, just because this seems more the six missiles seems better for my DPS, which is way better. Maybe one portal will lay down. Uh, the sun, or uh, I don't really want all the gambits, so I think I'm gonna do this, whatever this is. Elemental gambit sounds good. Oh shit. Do I have to fight anybody in here? Oh no, it just gives you something. Nice. Absolute zero, poisoned power, a blaze swarm, spiritual summons. This is the only one that looks like Oh wait. Yeah, Stellar Tempest. Give me that one. Oh shit. Electric. Change spell affinity to electric. Oh shit. So an elemental gambit can fundamentally change how a spell Oh, that's really good. So I'm gonna change one of my lightnings or one of my ice spells to a uh, lightning one. On each hit applies. Uh, okay. On spell cast creates three plasma. Summons two nimbus. Chance to create a lightning orb. Chance to create. Okay, so we don't want chance to create. We want this. Summoning two nimbus seems good. So I'm gonna take this one. I'm not gonna overthink it. This one's already got two electrical spells in it. It's eye of judgment. Wait, that's electric. This is glacial. Okay, glacial light speed fist. Thunder Orb. This is already that way. So the only one I would be changing is Glacial. And that one I kind of like how it works right now. Although, you know what? I'll change this one. I will change Glacial Spikes since our other spells are all lightning based. I will change the one Glacial since this is low level. 
I might as well change this. So this just changed this to lightning. So it's lightning glacial spikes. So now I can find some gambits that have lightning, further boost that if I wanted to. Let's go to a gambit room just for the fuck of it, see if I can find something that'll make that spell even better. I'll be done in no time. What do you got for me? I'll level that spell up. Oh, hold on. Actually, let's just level up the light speed first. Oh, level 10 is max level. Damn. Alright, well. I wasted a level then. Oh, hey, watch out. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Nothing coming out! Good parry. Oh shit, I leveled up my dash. This game is Diablo! That game just gave me, like, a, a shrine power-up. <laughs> Like Dead Cells Diablo, the side scroller. Imagine what high level gameplay this game looks like. Alright, let's go to the best part of the game Andromeda's Bar. How's it going, girl? Wonderful, a customer has arrived. Anything good, though? Attack speed will be good. Strength I like, but attack speed is better right now. I need to load up my mana. Max health is whatever at this point. I think I just want the attack speed. Here we go, that's what I want right there. life, sure. Armor, definitely. I have an insane amount of armor now. She gave me a ton of armor last time I was here. Do strength. Some of our local guys went to the weekly. One of the weaker guys had Knuckle Do first match. Damn. Oh yeah, I think I saw that in the Discord. You added me to the op block. That's a fun name for a server, by the way. Poor dude. Does Knuckle Do live in Florida? Or is he just there visiting? I know he lives in Florida. He and Punk live around here? I had no idea. Good for them. Punk lives in Florida? I thought he was a Cali guy. I think right now armor is one of our best investments because I'm probably going to take damage from whatever this last boss is. Nope. That's all my stars. Oh, damn. We got the 666 uh, quartz. <laughs> I don't like that. Astral Gambit. On each hit creates one lightning orb. That sounds really, really good. That's what I want. Holy, an Astral Gambit? That seems like it's the best one. What's that new spell I just got? Yeah. I just turned uh, Glacial Spikes into a lightning spell, so this seems good. Give me, um... Get the snowflakes out of here. Give me that. That seems good. I see my Juicy Monthlies. I burned a joint with Punk a few months ago and was busting his balls about how he is online. That's hilarious, dude. Soda, you're living the life down there in Florida, dude. Enjoy while it lasts. That fucking place is crazy. I gotta come and hang out with you sometime soon. Hey, if I come down there for my birthday, I'll make a day to come out to your way. We're gonna have a car down there pretty soon so I can drive out to Sarasota. I don't give a fuck. All my family's like, oh, it's a four-hour drive. I'm like, I don't give a shit. You don't seem like such a bitch offline? Dude, I'm telling you, this is why... I want to do the wrestling show. You need to understand something really simple. The internet is kayfabe. Everybody has a persona of themselves online and offline. I'm generally a very agreeable person offline. I'm nice. I try to keep it chill. I'm a little demanding sometimes. I, I'm a know-it-all at times. Like, I'm just I'm a bitch sometimes. But for the most part, very caring. Like, Eris, just offline. I'm the nicest guy you'll meet. Very few people have a problem with me. Online, however... I'm a bitch. Like, I'm just... It's ex it's extremely. I'm not much different on offline, I don't think so. Well, a little bit, yeah. A little bit. I won't say how. I have to, I'd have to think about that as to not offend you. Well, I'm trying to think of... No, this, I can't really say anything offensive. You're pretty much similar. You're right. You're probably right about that, if I'm honest. What do we got here? A spell cast, four missiles. Uh, I don't think I need anything else. I'm just gonna go kick the boss's ass. It's a shame I don't have that summon. I wish I did. Ready for whatever's coming. Is this like a tough boss? Because I'm seeing rain here, and this is different. Uh, 
Uh, probably somebody new. Yup. Oh shit. You're the clone we boy? Uh Gemini. Yep, you're the clone boy. What? That's it? No. Mwahaha! <laughs> we are the evil teens! You shall not pass! It would be pointless. Your loss will merely be one amongst the millions we cause. If you think I'm afraid of clone guys, when I have a dash that has tons of invincibility frames, you get another thing coming, boy. Oh yeah? I think not. He said it easier than I did. on that was ridiculous. That was a tough we one. Are disappointed. That was a tough one. I didn't even notice how much health I was losing. Oh, look how close I was, dude. If I had beat that guy, I would have got to the last boss, it looks like. It looks like I was right there at the last boss. Also, not gonna lie. This is the most fire endgame screen for any roguelike I've ever seen. It shows you everybody you beat the whole fight. The whole, uh, the whole run. Massive level ups. Let's go. Ooh. The hell of level ups, dude. Yes, give it to me. All right, well, I didn't make final boss, but I had a really good run. Oh, and then it shows you, like I said, like this is the best end game menu because it shows you everything you unlocked, all the stuff you got progressive wise, progress wise. Look at all those achievements. That's a good run. 